on me Promise that you never be lonely Fan, that's what they call Aloha guys, welcome back to my channel um, Beauty with Christy And today we're gonna check out this Studio Fix from MAC Soft Matte Foundation Stick So it's in the color NC40 <clears throat> It's a medium Buildable coverage Natural matte finish And on the go foundation So this is really good You just stick it in your bag And then, you know It's really good for on the go Okay, let's go check out what else they say about this. So this retails for $31 and I purchased this color because that's the color I had before. Maybe my color kind of changed, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so it, it says, let's see, back it up. So it's a true artist tool. This on-the-go multitask foundation stick provides buildable medium coverage with a natural matte finish. So if you want a full coverage, uh, maybe this is not the one for you, but we're gonna go and see how it does apply. Um, Ultra blendable formula is designed to perfect skin tone, contour, curves, and highlight features. It's available in 33 shades. Um, it's 24 hours but we're not gonna use it for 24 hours guys okay it says instantly hydrating stay true color non pouring non caking non streaking non settling non creasing and it's for all skin types apply directly to face and blend evenly with fingers sponge or brush so I'm just gonna apply it on top of my face and then I'm probably gonna use either a sponge or my um, brush we're gonna see how that works okay this is twist slightly so you're only gonna like not twist it all the way up and it, it does come in this little cute package here so you're just gonna lift it up just that much so that it doesn't break while you're applying it to your face yeah so let's get started let me see real quick I'm gonna put on a primer first but hold on let's see So NC40 is for medium skin tones. So let's see how that works. Alrighty, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so I put you a little bit close up. So my face is really not needing a really full coverage. It just kind of needs some foundation on there just to block the redness. Because I do have redness from the sun out here in Hawaii. So there's just... And there, I do have some big pores, so let's just test that out. So today I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Hangover Hydrating Primer. And keep in mind, I do have oily skin. I know, I sometimes I rather prefer to use a matte foundation, I mean a matte primer, but we're just going to try with this one today. You see how red my face is right there? Okay. okay. And then, so we're gonna start applying. I really like the packaging and it's like really easy to go. I'm gonna start off with the brush first. It's a Sigma F80. Let me 
me see how that looks there. Look, look at this redness on that side, so it kind of covers it. Um, and it does say it's buildable, so let's. I'll try that after. Right now, I'm going to go on this side and then use the sponge. My sponge is damp. It's hard to tell, my face looks very um, oily right now, but we can manage to powder it. I don't know which side. I think it looks the same. I think just my face looks oily because I did use the hydrating primer. Hmm. Let me just... It looks the same to me. see like a little darkness right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit there I think it looks the same with the for me. I mean, it looks great from here, but I can still see my pores on this side mostly. You can see it. Um, I don't know how to bring you closer. Like it's hard. But I think this side it has a little bit more pores than this side. So let's just go over with the brush on this side. I know you guys can't see it because I'm using my phone. Better if I use my um, brush instead of my sponge. It kind of like makes the pores kind of disappear. Wow. It looks better far than near. I'm using the magnifying mirror, that's why. So it's kind of like I can see everything. But yeah, it looks great from here. I think it's gonna oxidize a little. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna try it on my hand real quick. And at the end of the video, we can check it out. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over to set this with my MAC powder, Studio Fix powder in the color C6. The colors are all over the place. So I don't like for me the the medium colors are like kind of getting darker because I ordered a NW35 and that one just kind of looks dark on me but I'll do a on this week I want to try and use it a couple times before I do it Right, I think you might get a little bit better coverage with a brush than the sponge um, and so far it's looking pretty good especially if you want to use it like on the go it looks okay if I'm not using my magnifying magnifying glass mirror so 
Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna come back with my makeup done and then we're gonna see how it goes from there, okay? Yes, this will be my finished look. And I'm just gonna um, finish it off with the, it's the matte fix. Great. So for all my oils, hopefully it'll hold it down. It has a really pretty scent to this. So far, I'm really liking it. It's matching me great. So it did kind of, you see that right there? It kind of just blended in with my skin. Almost, you can see it. Yeah, so it does oxidize just a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna fan that. And then right now it's about 11.26. I'll check back with you guys during the day. Um, and yeah, already. So far I do like it. It looks really nice and it looks kind of natural as well. It doesn't look like I have a, a lot of makeup on. So it's about 11.27. And then I'll check back with you guys in the middle of the day. Hey guys, so I'm going to already take off this makeup because I just came from walking and I'm really hot. So um, out of 1 to 5, I give it a 4. Um, I really like this foundation and it's really easy to apply. And for me, it worked better if I applied it with the brush. Um, it didn't work too well with the sponge. Sorry, I'm just out of breath a little because I just came out from outside. Um, just here is a little bit like it came off just because I had my glasses on but if you are someone with oily skin like me you just have to like keep your powder with you so you can powder your nose from time to time and that shall work um, and I think that's about oh yeah so when I did go outside in the Sun I took a picture I'll put it up here you can see a lot of my pores but that's just being in my late 40s I don't have the skin that I used to have when I was 20s so you know but anyways it did work out overall I liked it I like the way it did finish and the color came out just right and hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks